This is a salad spinner. A more scientific name for it is a centrifuge. And these are used in, centrifuges are used in labs to spin samples, to separate blood samples, for instance. In this case, it's used for drying lettuce. So let's say you want a salad. You gotta wash the lettuce. There might be sand or dirt on it or whatever. So you're gonna wash your salad. So you wash it in the sink, but then it's all wet. What do you do? You could dry it with a towel, but kitchen towels especially are festering cesspools of bacteria. You don't wanna do that. You could use paper towels, but that's really wasteful. You could take the lettuce and shake it. And uh, uh, Newton's first law, a water droplet in motion will continue in motion. So when you suddenly stop it, the water will keep going, you, you shake it. But what you often end up doing is throwing lettuce across the, the kitchen. So a uh, salad spinner, a centrifuge helps out with this big problem in life of wet salad leaves, of, of lettuce, wet, leaf, wet lettuce. And so you take your wet lettuce, you put it in the basket, notice the basket is open on the sides. You put it in here, put the lid on. Some have a little handle, in this case it's got a little plunger you press down, you press down. And this basket spins really fast. The centripetal force, the basket walls are providing centripetal force to keep the lettuce going in a circle. But the water droplets can go through the holes in the sides. The water droplets continue in the tangential direction and come out of the basket into the larger container. And when you end up stopping the basket, then your lettuce is practically dry from simply flinging off the water droplets as they spin around in a circle. So, um, so that's the salad spinner. And it's a kitchen centrifuge for drying your lettuce. I put a green sticker on the side of the basket so I could track it in video shot with a high-speed camera shooting at 300 frames per second. And here you can see it's blurred out and it takes 17 frames to go around once when the basket was going fast. So 17 three hundredths of a second is the period of the basket. We're going to do a couple of quick calculations here and we'll, we're going to calculate the speed of the basket wall. And then also, what is the centripetal acceleration experienced by the lettuce? So let's start off with the speed calculation. And a speed is a distance over a time. Now, in the case of something going around in a circle, the, the distance is the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius of the circle. And we're going to use a capital T to represent the period, that is, the time it takes for the basket to turn once. So let's go ahead and plug in. I will point out that 2 times r, 2 times the radius, is in fact the diameter. So I'm just going to write this as pi times the diameter over the period. And so let's go ahead and plug that in. Here's a calculator. And we're going to do pi times the diameter. The diameter was 0.23 meters. And we're going to divide by the period. I didn't calculate out as a decimal number, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in as 17 three hundredths. So remember, it was 17 frames at 300 frames per second. So the period is 0 0.057 seconds. And we're dividing that into the distance, the circumference of the circle. So we get 12.75. Let's go ahead and round. And we'll call that 13 meters per second. And I did a little side calculation. And this is about 30 miles per hour. If you're more familiar with those units, 30 miles per hour. I thought that was surprisingly fast. The next part we're going to do is let's calculate the centripetal acceleration. A sub C is equal to V squared over R. So we have our 13 meters per second squared, and we're going to divide by 0.23 meters over 2. Uh, we're cutting the diameter in half to get the radius. I'm going to use the unrounded velocity just because I don't like to round things repeatedly. 
um, to round intermediate results in a subsequent calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the 12.75 meters per second as the velocity. And we're going to square that. And then we're dividing by 0.23 meters over 2 to get the radius. So we've now got V squared divided by the radius. This is just the radius 0.115 meters. And I hit the equal sign to complete the final calculation. 1413 meters per second. And let's round that to two sig figs again. So 1400 meters per second squared. Now little g, the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth, is 9.8, or let's just call it 10 for convenience sake. So in other words, this is about 140 g's. So the lettuce, as it's spinning around, is experiencing acceleration 140 times stronger than the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth.